Hey y'all, it's Allie and I am filming spontaneously again. You'll probably see my videos are kind of, from Patreon to YouTube, they're kind of wonky as far as <laughs> they're out of order. <laughs> and that's okay, that'll be all right. I'm okay to have a wonky video. Wow, there's someone peeling in the parking lot, yay. The last video that I did on YouTube was the cool dashboard that I made. I love it, I love it. And I did the other side here, and I did this, and then I have one more to do. This video, I wanted to show y'all this cool idea I had with using basically a full-size photo as a page for a tip-in. So here's my journal right here. And I think I did something here. I wanna add like something there. But this is a page I have. And I, what I did is I printed out, I measured, I think it's like three and three quarters long by like, I think six and a half inches. So three and a half by six and a half inches. And I believe these are like maybe three by four or something. But I took a letter sized photo paper. I get this paper from Red River. And yes, I still use my selfie. I do still use my selfie when I want to do things quickly. Um, when I want to do something a little more artistic, then I go to Photoshop and I resize photos and stuff. So that's how I was able to resize the photo in Photoshop and print it out for this dash. And so my goal is to have a whole page, like kind of the simple concept, kind of like this, where like you have a big page tipped in the middle, but it being two big photos in the middle. I just think that will look really cool for my Christmas spread. That's what I was inspired to do. So again, I did this in Photoshop. I don't know of any other programs that you can do this with. If y'all know, please leave them in the comments and I will update a description for ya. I don't know any other photo programs, but Photoshop's how I did it. So I hope this isn't like a frustrating journal with me because a lot of, uh, because of folks not knowing how to resize their photos and print them on these big contact sheets. I'm sure there's a, a tutorial out there with some software that's, you know, a little more accessible for folks. Folks. Very excited. This picture right here, I put on my Instagram story that I do sometimes still take fancy photos with my fancy camera that I film. That's the camera that I film with. And this is one of the photos that I took. That's one of my favorite photos of the day for Christmas. Oh my gosh, we had a very quiet Christmas. It was nice. It was interesting. Well, okay, quiet, <laughs> not really quiet in the morning. It was like a ton of motorcycles. So at the church we live at, there's a ministry that is really awesome and goes and gives presents to children who otherwise would not get any presents at all. And so there's like 60 Harley Davidsons like revving their motors at like seven in the morning. <laughs> On Christmas Day I was like it shook the bowels you know what I mean kind of a quiet Christmas in the evening in the morning not so much so these two photos I have here and my plan was to tip them in the middle <gasps> oh my gosh that's gonna be so cool so nice 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 so this is kind of like a slowed down journal with me I guess I should probably cut these out too huh Whoa. I love his precious face right there. And I also thought this was super fresh, like my baby sleeping. He was sneaking in trying to get, you know, look at the presents and he fell asleep on the couch. So anyway, those are cute. I'll tip that in somehow too. But okay. Yes, yes, yes. I want to watercolor these pages first. I wonder if I should take this out so that it's a flat surface. Let's do that. And I get messy sometimes and I don't want Lovey to be ruined. Lovey Jr. <laughs> I'm not really doing like a sped up journal with me this time because I want to talk through it. So my Christmas tree colors this year were, well my nails, <laughs> gold, red, black, and gray, like a like a silvery gray 
um, and cream and stuff. And so I think I'm gonna put like quinacridone gold on here and maybe some red, maybe some like red splatters or something perhaps. So hope y'all's Christmas was good. If you don't celebrate Christmas, I hope your day was good. Let's see, what did I do today? Called Michael's Corporate and got permission to film in the store for when Jane Davenport's supplies are in. So excited because I'm just so excited for her stuff. I cannot wait to see it. And so they're calling me back on when I can come in and film that. Uh, stipulation is that I can't have anybody else in my shots because I don't want to be collecting releases from everybody. So I'm just like not even thinking about where I want to put this. Just kind of blobbing color. Blobbing color is the best. It's the most therapeutic ever. If anything, sometimes I get so bad, like I've had such a bad day that I just write and don't do any color at all. But most of the time, I blob color. Most of the time. And this is Cranacridone Gold, which is one of my faves. It is a staple. And then we've got, this is called Zoazite. It's like a really pretty gray color. Oh, doesn't that look fancy? I like that. <laughs> I use this for my girls with their gray hair. I water this down. So is I genuine. You can get it from Cats, uh, Artistic Cat on Etsy. I just finally went ahead and bought tubes because I love this watercolor so much. That's pretty cool. I like that. Yay. Okay, I'm gonna dry it now. Okay, I want to add some red. I think what I'm going to do... Now, I got this, the balls things from a girl with a journal. A girl with a journal. This is so pretty. You should go follow her feed. It's just aesthetically pleasing and makes you all calm and gooey inside. It's wonderful. So I want to do some spheres, I think. Some red spheres. Like all Christmas-like. That's what I'll do. And give the make sure you get those highlights. Those highlights need to be there. They look like Christmas balls. Or I think in Australia, do they call them bubbles? I think. Cian was a friend in Australia. We were hanging out on Google Hangout, and she was showing me her bubbles she was making. They were so cute, and I was like, that's such a cute way to say it. Bobbles, I love it. I guess we just call them balls. <laughs> Christmas balls. I like bobbles better. Okay. And then, I kinda wanna like, do this. I don't know what I'm doing. Playing. That'll work. I do things in threes. Um, I don't have like a design background, but from what my experience is and from what I've heard, I got this from, was it Becky Higgins? I, I got a book out of layouts, scrapbook layouts, like shoot, I don't know, 14 years ago. And she said P, uh, the eye is more attracted to things in odd numbers and threes is really good. So that's why I do things in threes. Okay, get her done. Okay, so then what I wanna do, now I know that I am past the 25th. Okay, there's December 10th there, there's December 26th here, there's 27th here, but I really wanna make this about Christmas, so I am gonna put 25 on here. And I wanna use, I'm gonna use my stencil again because I just love the way it looks. I love it. But the way I'm gonna do it, I think I wanna foil it is what I wanna do. So I'm gonna go over that bobble. I think foiling would be fun. I foiled the first page, I think, this one. I'm going to time lapse me doing this part. By the way, this stencil, 
everybody always asks me where I get this stencil and I cannot find the six inch one anymore. I think on scrapbook.com you can get the big old 12 by 12, but I have not been able to research and search out the six by six. I got it in the clearance bin at Whimsadoodle when I was in Tampa, well, St. Pete, I guess. And uh, my cat is going nuts. I'm so sorry for all the racket, if you can hear it, that he's making. Okay, so I don't know if they make that stencil anymore. I'm so sorry. But you can use another one like it. It's always an option. So I'm gonna, I think I wanna foil the number in gold. And so I'm trying to decide if I wanna use my foil pen or if I wanna use my foil goopy stuff. I'm thinking the goopy stuff. Okay, so this is like deco foil. Um, one of my first patron videos, I showed a tutorial on this. Um, it was really fun. So I'm just gonna, it takes a little bit to dry and it creates like a raised effect on the page. It works a little bit better than the pen though. The pen is extremely flat. I don't know how I could smooth it out unless I tried maybe like taking like a knife like this and I don't know, I feel like I'm gonna screw that up. <laughs> Okay, that's gotta dry. I'm gonna see if I can't speed this up without cooking it. I'm gonna let this dry a little bit on its own and work on the pictures because again, I like to embellish my pictures a little bit. And so what I plan to do is I'm gonna have it uh, tipping in this way. So I want to, you know, glue everything like here and here and then I'll cut anything on the side and I really don't care about this edge right here because washi tape will go there. Gonna glue here and here. I use these little AdTech dot glue runners. They're cheap, they work. I did try at one time that big ol' ATG gun and it was just not working for me. I don't know why it did not get along with me. That's all right, not everyone's gonna like me. Okay. See, there we go. So I can cut off a little bit of the excess, like up here. I could put this in the chopper and chop it even thinner, but I kinda don't wanna do that. There, that's fine, it doesn't have to be perfect. I am constantly battling my perfection I mean, I I struggle, y'all. You think you think that I am just super artsy fartsy and oh look at that, it's she's so artsy and doesn't care. No, I it's a battle. <laughs> it's a battle every day. <laughs> so I love, 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 love these tags. They make me happy. These are just these little tags. I do not know where I got them. I think I got them on a place called Papier Valerie or Valeris something like that, it's like a French name. If I find them, I will let you know. If you know where they are, you can tell me and I'll put them down there. But I do want like a, uh, a tag also. So it'll be here in the middle. I might cut it even just a little bit thinner. I am gonna cut it a little thinner. And I already know what I wanna do for my tag because I got the gold going on. Speaking of gold, I saw on Instagram, live, laugh, and create, share these baskets that are on sale at Walmart for $2 a piece. Oh my gosh. I got two turquoise ones and two gold ones because um, when I move, I'll have my own studio room. I've never had my own room, the entire room, as a studio. I take that back. I did have one in Montana, but it was uh, it was a wet room. Back, It was like a vintage you know, over a hundred year old house and the room was like four by five. <laughs> it was super small. I was not complaining though because it was my room. So this apartment, I'll be able to 
have my own room. This is just clear acetate that's left over and I'm using my tab punch to punch it, punch it good. Ooh, gotta use a little bit of force on that. Hello. I will tiny attach this here. So that way it'll be like, kind of like that. But then where am I gonna put my Christmas thing? I'll do it down here. Christmas 2000. So I'm gonna put this hanging off, hanging off this. Cut off, I'm sorry. This will be hang off, hang off, cut off. If y'all have not seen any of my other videos, I kind of do this thing when I embellish. I call it hang off, cut off. Never heard it before, just said it because it helps me remember. So that's the cut off and here's the hang off. This is a tiny attacher, a tiny attacher. It's one of my favorite things in the universe. You attach tiny things with tiny staples. <laughs> it's wonderful. So I don't know how far I need it for it to not hang out. I mean, I'm okay if it hangs out a little bit. Basically, it gives tiny little staples and they're adorable. Thank everyone. This is like one of my favorites of all times things. I think the sun's going down. Poop. See that baby staples? I'm going to put Christmas 2016. Can y'all believe it's almost 2017? It's crazy. It's crazy. Time is flying by. And I don't know if I really want to like do anything to this page. I kind of just want to keep it simple. Just a picture on that one. I might add something later, I don't know. That's that. So I'm gonna use some, red would be fun. Ooh, red diagonals for candy canes. Yes, I don't use red often, but that's perfect. We'll do that. Tip it in. Tip, tip, tip it in. Tip in all the things, that's what I say. Oh, and I'm gonna tip in some hair while I'm at it. <laughs> Oh my gosh, my crazy hair, it sheds all the time. So if I ever die, you could clone me. In my journal, there's a piece of hair on this page. <laughs> Just saying. Okay, so I'm gonna, the way I like to do it is I kind of bend it back and I really stick it in there. Actually, what I have done in the past is done this and bend it back and really stick it in. I might do that actually. Hmm. Yes, I might. So just kind of get the size of it. Oh, I'm losing light. Sorry. Oh my gosh, I've never experienced this where this has happened. Oh my gosh, it just ruined my picture. Error, error. What the heck? This washi tape just destroyed my picture. You saw it live. Wow, that is some like hecka strong washi tape, y'all. I cannot believe that. Look at this, goop everywhere. I'm sweating so bad because I'm so upset. <laughs> Oh my goodness, no. So, how I normally do it is when I don't have crazy, like, Goliath strong washi tape, is I go on the other side and I stick it in. But that was like, I have never had washi tape do this to me before. Ever. That was very bizarre. I just go in the middle, stuff it in the center as much as I can. And there it is right there. And I'm not gonna, I'm gonna do this foiling first before pushing the picture because I don't want to ruin the other side with the goop on the other side. So that's a bummer. This is gold foil and it's, you do it with the foil facing up. You just kind of like, what is the word? I don't know what the word is called. There's a word, brace, I don't know. I don't know what the word is called. 
I'm losing light and I'm frustrated about my picture being ruined now. That's really sad to me. See how it's kind of like like raised and stuff? Burnish. Burnish. That's what it's called. I'm using friction. It's all good. <sighs> Mucho upset. I'm tempted to start over again. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. Sorry. I have to use studio lighting now because the sun has set. Uh, this foil looks a little matte. Don't know why. Not sure why, but it's like super, I don't know. I think it's just an epic fail for this one. So I reprinted it. Since I didn't ruin these pictures, I just stuck another picture of, I started a Weight Watchers, um, not technically, I did not join Weight Watchers meetings or anything, but I'm doing the iTrack Bites program. It's a, the same program, I just, my meetings are my sister and my mom, because they do it and they're my accountability. And so this is a photo of um, a time where I was really happy with my weight and stuff and so I'm gonna do something fun same principle cut it out stick it in as a temp ed, and probably do like some like um, you know maybe some scrapbook paper and some journaling and make it just a day of journaling so anyway y'all don't need to see me cut these out again so I'm gonna skip that part and come back when I've got this stuff done again hey thank goodness I don't have goop on that side Samson tape Let's see if this will work. I can always cut it. Oh dear God, help me. Well, it's there now. And it's creep. That, that doesn't bother me as much as like glue all over the side of a picture. There. Oh, my goodness. Covering up Ashton a little bit, but I cropped the picture to take into account while she would be there. So when I close it, it's not hanging out too much, but yeah, that's the idea. The idea is to open up this page and have full pictures there. And then we have these pictures right here of my munchkins. These ones aren't as hard. I wonder where I got that washi from. Don't even know. It is an extremely sticky washi tape. Oh, he's so cute sleeping. That'll be nice. Just some tip ins like that. I kind of. Do I try to take this off? Look, it came off on the paper. I think it has to do with my photo paper. I decided I didn't like it on the other side. That's better. I think I want I wanted it on this side so that when you turn the page, it's like, oh, and then all my writing, whatever. I like it. I like that a lot. And then I'll put on this, Dreaming of Sugar Plums. This is Red River Paper, so it's like kind of a luster, and uh, it's like a semi-gloss, so it takes the gel so nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, I'm gonna stop now. Basically, that's all I wanted to show. It's not like super hard at all. Anybody can stick two pictures together and tip them in. The fun part was that they were big pictures. And so, I don't know if it's a really helpful video because the only way I know how to do this is in Photoshop. If y'all know of any other programs that are available for free that can do this, that can do the resizing of the pictures. I'm wondering if like Word does it or maybe even, maybe Word does it. Like my mom's done a bunch of stuff with pictures on Word or Mac, the Mac one. What is it called? Pages? Maybe that. Just play around with maybe your Word uh, processing whatevers. But just adding those big old pages, that looks really cool to me. And I will journal this, our little memories from that day. And again, it doesn't bother me that it's out of order. Like, it's okay. I really wanted it to say 25 though for Christmas. So thanks all for hanging out with me. I'm gonna open up the new year with hopefully my Jane Davenport supplies. I haven't gotten them in yet, 
but I'm excited to get them in and also too I have a background tips like for art journaling that I've recorded and let's see I think that's it so okay y'all be safe when you're going to celebrate the new year and I'm so thankful for all of y'all and what y'all have given me the opportunity to share with you and thank you so so much I'm just so thankful. It's been such a great year and you know, I wouldn't be here on this channel if it was not for y'all wanting to watch. So thank you so much. I would be doing it by myself and it'd be, that would be fine, but it's a lot of fun to share. So love y'all so much and I will see you later in 2017. Bye. Howard, what are you doing? Poke my eye out. Who knows what's happening today?